So probably the most famous series of Joseph Albers is a hom homage to the square. So could you explain what he wants to do with these uh, repeating patterns of squares in colors? Could mm -hmm. you explain? Yes. Um, actually, he, he started uh, the, the series of the homages to the square in uh, 1950. And here we have the very first uh, one um, which he created. In the beginning, he started to develop the colors in black and white, so uh, not color yet, of course, and then the color started to uh, be inserted in one of the in one of the squares, and actually the square is just a vehicle for uh, his experiences on the colors, because what he wanted to show with this series is that uh, each color, um, that colors in general are, is, are very uh, subject subjective perception, which means that uh, you never see uh, a color the same way twice. And it is always uh, conditioned by the context in which the color is uh, seen. And uh, so, for example, um, um, a green here, uh, this green in the middle of the square mm -hmm. um, is uh, perceived uh, lighter or darker um, in rela relation to the context. If the uh, color which uh, is around the, the middle color, middle color is uh, darker, the green is perceived lighter. I don't... Yes. And, the, and uh, for him, um, in a way, uh, the, the color functions um, like a human being because um, all human beings are also uh, conditioned by the context. We are not the same uh, when we are speaking in our own language or in a foreign language. We are not the same uh, if we are with a, a certain context or another and uh, the color also changes. Um, the mood? The mood and, uh, of course, the perception. But uh, is, is the, the form of the square itself re related to architecture, like we saw before with the uh, with, uh, adobe? Um, in fact, uh, as I said, the, the square is only uh, considered as a vehicle. Uh, it is only um, a way for him to work on colors because uh, the square is the most basic uh, ge geometric form. So it does not uh, attract uh, importance for its own as square. But, so it leaves uh, our um, attention uh, only to the colors. And here, for example, you have four small homages to the square, and you see in all these four mm -hmm. homages the same green, the same light green, which is here in the middle, here. It is the second color. Yes. Here it is the third color around, and here also the third color, but uh, in a larger frame. And this same green appears in each of these four homages differently, because uh, here it is in the exterior, here it is in the middle, and that is what he wanted to show us that. Uh, we are that every perception of color is co completely subjective. But uh, the ultimate aim is about the effect of colors on humans. What do you think? Um, what is his real aim? Um, his real aim is to uh, show uh, what art makes on us. Ah, the, the effect. So, uh, the effect and also the. Um, our behavior and uh, our relationship to others and our confidence on ourselves. So um, this, all this um, ex um, experience with art is necessary uh, to um, construct our own uh, personality in a way. And this is also what Annie um, uh, shared with Joseph the, the conviction that art 
is uh, totally important or is essential to construct ourselves and in a in a democracy to get the, to to keep the the confi to yeah to construct ourselves with our own means um, created by ourselves. Okay. Merci.